नमस्ते डियर फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी स्टार्ट टॉपिक द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज सरफेस टेंशन एंड इट इज इन चैप्टर नंबर 2 मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द फ्लूइड्स ऑफ द 12th स्टैंडर्ड द सरफेस टेंशन इज वन ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ द लिक्विड म्हणजे कोणत्याही लिक्विड ची ही एक प्रॉपर्टी आहे देन वी हैव सीन that uh, the shape of the raindrop is a sphere shape of the soap bubble is spherical also uh, we know that if you take the needle and uh, the oil is coated on the needle or it is coated with the grease and the needle is kept on the surface of the water then it floats also we have seen the insects can walk on the water surface and in all these examples there is a surface tension insect can walk on the water surface because of the surface tension shape of the raindrop is spherical that is because of the surface tension also <coughs> soap of the uh, soap bubble has this uh, spherical shape uh, due to the surface tension so Uh, these are the examples of the surface tension and to study <coughs> surface tension we should know the molecular theory now in molecular theory it is given that the matter consists of large number of molecules in solid in liquid and in gases there are large number of molecules present and the there is a attraction between the two molecules and the force between the molecules is called the intermolecular force of attraction so this is meaning of the intermolecular force of attraction manje solid getla manje ekada lokanda getla te don tyache je molecule asti tyancha madhe attraction asta ani त्याचा जो फोर्स असतो तो मी मॉलिक्यूल्स म्हटलं तो म्हणजे इंटरमॉलिक्युलर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रॅक्शन किंवा वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल घेतला दोन वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल आहेत त्यांच्यामध्ये अट्रॅक्शन असेल असतं आणि त्याच्यातला जो फोर्स असतो तो इंटरमॉलिक्युलर फोर्स ऑफ अट्रॅक्शन त्याला म्हणायचं आहे न देर आर टू टाईप्स ऑफ द इंटरमॉलिक्युलर फोर्स वन इज द कोइजिव फोर्स कोइजिव फोर्स कोइजिव फोर्स इज द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिट्वीन द टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ द सेम सब्सटन्स एक सब्सटन्स के दोन मॉलिक्यूल मतलब जो फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन है तेल मना चो कोई जीव फोर्स उदाहरणार्थ वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल घर दोन वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल अल तेजम जो फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन है तेल मना चो कोई जीव फोर्स देन सेकेंड इज द अदर जीव फोर्स अदर जीव फोर्स इज द फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन बिट्वीन द टू मॉलिक्यूल्स ऑफ द डिफरंट सब्सटन्सेस दोन वेगवेगे सब्सटन्सेस से दोन वेगवेगे मॉलिक्यूल जर घा जो फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन तो अधिजीव फोर्स आल द एक्जाम्पल इज द फोर्स बिट्वीन ग्लास एंड वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल्स ग्लास घला ग्लास मॉलिक्यूल घला वॉटर मॉलिक्यूल घा जो फोर्स ऑफ अट्रैक्शन तो अधिजीव टाइप of the force of attraction as said then the range of the molecular attraction now suppose so we take the liquid and there is a molecule a at some at inside the liquid there is a molecule a now this <coughs> molecule a has the maximum distance it has the maximum distance up to which it can attract the uh, other liquid molecules means it has the maximum uh, distance capacity or it can it has the maximum distance up to which it can attract the other liquid molecules and the maximum distance and distance from molecule of the substance up to which the uh up to which the force of attraction is effective that maximum distance 
is called the range of molecular attraction. So, maximum distance of the molecule up to which the uh, force of attraction uh, is effective, that maximum distance is called the range of molecular attraction. मतलब यहाँ से दूसरा अर्थात है जाने कि समझा मॉलिक्यूल ए से पाने चाहे आने यहाँ से यह मॉलिक्यूल ए के आजू बाजू से जुड़े मॉलिक्यूल असे यहाँ से आने मॉलिक्यूल ए से फोर्स ऑफ एट्रैक्शन असे इफेक्टिव असे परंतु एक अभिशिष्ट डिस्टेंस जब पलिकुडे से जो मॉलिक्यूल असे यहाँ से फोर्स ऑफ एट्रैक्शन up to, uh, uh, beyond that range will be zero. This is the meaning of the range of molecular attraction. Then, if you draw the sphere, suppose you draw the sphere and center of the sphere is a molecule and the radius of the sphere is range of molecular attraction. If radius of the sphere is range of molecular attraction, then such sphere is called a sphere of influence. This is called a sphere of influence. When you have molecule is open A, A molecules are uh, radius R, A molecule center one radius R is animal that's a sphere draw the radius R as they are. So, there is a sphere as in the sphere of the sphere of influence that is called a sphere of influence. Then, so, uh, then what is surface film? <coughs> we say what is surface film? Now, sir, if, you, if you imagine the liquid, this is a liquid taken in container, then this is xy is the liquid surface <coughs> and the surface layer, if we consider the surface layer, this is a surface layer x, x dash and y, y dash, if we consider the surface layer of which thickness is r, r means range of the molecular attraction, surface layer having the thickness which is equal to range of molecular attraction that surface layer is called a surface film. मुझे आसा एक layer आसे रही की surface वर्चा कि त्या layer चे thickness ही range of molecular attraction यहुडी आसे तो तो layer मुझे काया आसे तो surface film आसे नतर free surface of a liquid this xy is called a free surface of the liquid and the free surface of the liquid is the surface on which the shearing uh, stress is not applied or uh, it is not possible to apply the shearing stress that surface uh, that uh, uh, that uh, that surface is called the free surface of the liquid and this xy surface which is in contact with the air is the free surface of the liquid so this is free surface of the liquid now let us imagine <coughs> three molecules molecule a molecule B and molecule C. Now then inside the uh, molecule C in the liquid means we imagine the three molecules in the liquid. Molecule A is inside the liquid. Then molecule B is just below the surface of the liquid. Then molecule C is exactly on the surface of the liquid. Now if you consider molecule A, <coughs> uh, molecule A is inside the liquid and if you draw the sphere of influence of molecule A, then all the molecules, um, uh, uh, all the molecules inside the sphere of influence uh, have the cohesive force with molecule A, means there is a cohesive force acting on molecule A due to the molecules inside the sphere. Now, the force acting on molecule A is upward direction to the left side and to the right side and to the downward direction. Means, the force is acting in all directions and the force is equal. And because of that, the net force acting on molecule A is zero. 
so there is cohesive force acting on molecule a and the cohesive force is acting in all directions it is same in all directions and due to that the net force acting on molecule a is zero now consider molecule b now this molecule b is just below the surface of the liquid it is just below the free surface of the liquid and a very small part of this sphere is in the air and the remaining part is in the liquid this small part of the sphere of influence is in the liquid uh, is in the air and remaining part is in the liquid now air has less density it has less number of molecules and due to that the adhesive force which is acting on molecule a due to air molecules is negligible it is very very small and which force is acting on molecule b only the cohesive force which is in this sphere of influence which is in the liquid the cohesive force due to the molecules of the liquid is acting on uh, molecule b but all the cohesive force is not acting in the downward direction very small part of the cohesive force is acting in the upward direction even then the net force acting on molecule b is in the downward direction so net force acting on molecule b is in the downward direction now consider molecule c molecule c is exactly on the surface half of the sphere of influence of molecule c is in air and we know that density of the air is less and air molecules are less in number and due to that reason <coughs> again the adhesive force which is acting on molecule c due to air molecules will be negligible it is very very small and the net force acting on molecule c is due to the cohesive force which is due to the uh, which is due to the uh, liquid molecules in the sphere of influence manje yachatla sare arda jo sphere hai he liquid madhe ani liquid madhe je molecule aste ta liquid molecule mule je c var je molecule c var je cohesive force hai त्याच्यामुळे जो नेट जो फोर्स आहे सी वरचा हा डाउनवर्ड असेल सो दिस फोर्स ऍक्टिंग ऑन दिस सर्फेस फिल दिस इज अ सर्फेस फिल द नेट फोर्स ऍक्टिंग ऑन इच मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ द सर्फेस सर्फेस फिल इज इन द डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन मीन्स इच मॉलिक्यूल ऑफ द सर्फेस फिल विल एक्सपीरियन्स द डाउनवर्ड फोर्स it will experience the downward force and due to that the uh, uh, due to that there will be decrease in the number of molecules in the surface film now due to minimum number of the molecules on the surface film the molecule surface film will experience the tension means because of the force acting on the molecules in downward direction the molecules moves in downward direction and due to that uh, there will be minimum number of molecules on the surface film and due to minimum number of molecules on the surface film it will experience the tension and that tension is called as surface tension and surface tension is the tangential force means if you imagine if you imagine a tangential line on the surface of the liquid the force is acting on the both sides of the imaginary line and this force acting per unit length a uh, unit length which is drawn on the surface of the liquid is called the surface tension so this is meaning of the surface tension uh, uh, this is explanation of the surface tension so uh, we have studied surface tension in this topic thank you very much